Nobody asked you to prom, so now you dress as a bat and prowl around your parents' basement? What's this do? Huh? No buttons. I assume it works off concentration. How'd you do that? You weren't concentrating. Yo, what is up, comic book fans? My name is Tommy Fasano from ZD Comics, and I'm going to be talking about DC Comics now, so bear with me. DC is going to be canceling 13 other monthly titles and three weeklies. It's pretty intense. It's like a lot of their lines. Now, I'm going to list off what they're going to, you know, take away, but what I'm going to focus on is the Green Lantern and that universe itself. So, let's see. We're going to be canceling Aquaman and the others. I was reading it. It was pretty good. Wasn't too interested in it, so I did stop it, so I don't really care. Infinity Man and Forever People, okay, I, I didn't even read that either. Clarion, which literally just started, I guess I guess they only added Clarion so he could get like a short series, you know. Uh, Secret Origins, that was pretty cool, I also stopped that, it's another one of the comics that I did get but then cancelled. Could be the reason why they're cancelling, you know. Maybe these just aren't working out well. They'll also be cancelling Star Spangled War Stories featuring G.I. Zombie, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Trinity of Sin. Also, don't read that. World's Finest, I do read that. They're only probably canceling that because the characters in World's Finest are, of course, Power Girl and Huntress, who are Earth 2 characters and honestly have no clue what's going on with Earth 2. Which, one thing I noticed is Earth 2 is still on here, so we're still going to be getting an Earth 2 title. Probably will, I mean, honestly, I have no idea. After Convergence, we'll find out what's going on with the other Earths. Um, Arkham Manor, that's pretty much just tied into what's going on with Batman Eternal, so that makes sense how that's ending. Batwoman. Uh, we're probably just going to replace it with another bad title, let's be honest. Here's where it gets interesting. Green Lantern Corps, Green Lantern New Guardians, and Red Lanterns. Okay, that's, uh, that's three of the, what, like, five or six Green Lantern titles we have? It's pretty big, you know? The Green Lantern titles sell pretty damn well, and with how they've been going with the series and everything, pretty much every event so far has been, like, evolved in all of the comic books. So, like, if you wanted to read Green Lantern, then you're going to have to read Green Lantern Corps. Doesn't look like that's going to happen anymore. They're also canceling Swap Thing. Don't, I, don't, I don't know why. I was actually just going to get into Swamp Thing, but I'll probably uh, pick up his, you know, old volumes. I'll probably have, like, three or so. But um, it's kind of annoying. You know, they're canceling Swamp Thing. That sucks. And, of course, they're canceling their three weeklies. We knew that was going to happen. I think Batman Eternal will return for a second year. I don't know if that's confirmed. They'll probably throw another weekly at us anyway because they just sold so well. And they probably got a ridiculous amount of money for it. So, anyway, what I want to talk about today is Green Lantern Corps, Green Lantern New Guardians, and Red Lanterns. They literally just all got canceled. Like, we have, like, five titles. We have, like, those three. Then we have Green Lantern. Then we have, what, the Sinestro? I'm pretty sure Sinestro is ending. I don't know if that's confirmed. And then we have that guy who's, like, an orange lantern who, like, likes greedy stuff. Like, no one cares about him. Anyway, Corpse, Guardians, and, and Red. Those are pretty big titles. I actually picked up all of them before and read them several issues deep. So it's kind of disappointing to see that they're just canceling them. But don't worry. They're obviously not canceling, what, I think 16 total comic books, three of them being weeklies. And not returning them. So basically what's going on is DC through April and May are doing this convergence. Now convergence is literally a two month period where all the comic books are stopping and all the comic books from DC will be one event only. So it's pretty big. You know, you won't get any of your comic books for those two months unless you want to pick up convergence. I mean, I'll pretty much be picking up every convergence title without a doubt, but pretty much what's going to happen after convergence is DC is going to most likely have a small reboot. Now, they're canceling all these titles probably to have a fresh new start. So pretty much every title that isn't, wasn't canceled is doing somewhat pretty well. And honestly, that's a lot of titles. So none of these titles that have been canceled, actually, I've been reading right now. So I'm not pretty disappointed. But I'm really confused on why they're canceling three Green Lantern titles. Or I should say Lantern titles. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? My guess is that when we do get our new titles, we're going to have different Green Lantern titles. So we have, what, Corpse? New Guardians and Lanterns. Now, I don't know what happened at the end of Godhead. I'm pretty sure that event is still going on. I'm not currently reading it. It seems like it's a really, really big event. So, I'm probably going to pick it up after when it's in trade. But, I'm thinking that what we're going to see is like Green Lantern something else. You know, like a different ending. So, we could get these three titles just replaced with different endings. Maybe we'll get a, a Blue Lanterns comic book. Or a, I'm trying to think. There's green, red. We already have a yellow. 
We already have a uh, red. We already have green. Maybe we can get a white lanterns. Maybe we can get like Kyle Reiner's own comic book. I feel that we're just gonna get three replacements of green lanterns, and I think that's good because I wouldn't hope they do or do like you know fix. I guess you should say is I'm sick of all the events. It's event after event after event. Like, I mean, that's why I stopped. I picked up all the Green Lantern titles, hoping to get good stories for each of them, when they're all just tied into one comic book. And really, the only good one was Green Lantern. So I just picked up that. Then I was like, wow, I'm missing so much information from just picking up this comic. They just want to suck all my money in. So I stopped. So what they should do is they should replace these comic books, get expand the Green Lantern world. You know, at, just because there's a Green Lantern event doesn't mean every freaking lantern in the entire uni universe itself has to be involved in it. So what they should do is give us three more new titles, doesn't have to be Green Lantern, anything involving the Lantern universe, and separate them. You know, this event's going on over there because it's literally opposite side of the universe, or this event's happening over there. Now, obviously something huge is going to go on with Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps at the end like right before convergence and we'll probably see more of it during convergence so whatever happens then of course is going to affect what we actually get to see after but we're going to be seeing the solicitations in i think uh, a month or two so we eventually will find out what the new titles will be i'm just here to tell you you know what titles canceled and my thoughts on the green lantern cancellations my guess is that we're going to be getting three new you know titles with lanterns that are probably going to be more separate and not more tied together into basically one massive comic per month that's basically how it worked. They might as well just had a weekly, you know? So really, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Green Lantern Weekly? I mean, I, I'm down for it if it was a really good story. But there's just, there's so much going on in, Lan like, the Lantern universe itself. And so popular. And there's so many characters that a weekly could be pretty easy. Like, they could easily do a weekly. And they're probably going to get more. Right now, we have three weeklies going on. I pick up two of the three. And it already sucking up my money. Like, I stopped Future's End because I was just like, I can't handle this anymore. Not only was it not that good of a comic, but it was just sucking my money. Like, one weekly equals four comic books. That's how I see it. And I pick up, like, 16 comic books already. So, adding three weeklies is like adding 12 more comic books. As in, I have no money. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you have any comments or questions, I want you to post them down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you haven't already, my name is Tommy from CD Comics. And thank you for watching.